guys what's up and welcome to this new episode so today is sunday and i am free just like always okay so for those who are new to this channel and who are viewing my channel newly so i am currently working on a drone and i am making a drone that's like of this size a small drone a multicopter okay so what's so special about this drone is uh, i am actually making my own flight controller for this well by the way making a drone is pretty simple and straightforward just pick up some power motors and four ecs a battery a radio transmitter and a frame <laughs> and you are ready to go and i will post a tutorial video on how to make a drone by using the pre-made flight controller someday for that it's not important that you must be a technical guy or some engineer anybody can make it and it's really easy and it can be made in about two hours and you will be ready to fly it but what's special about this is i am actually making my own flight controller okay so why don't i select pre-made flight controller a company made flight controller for this well i think i have those germs wow this is really nice let's look at this another branch coming out of the tree this is so satisfying Okay, well, briefly, I will say that what a flight controller does is that it actually levels off your drone and to make the flight stable and easy for you. Actually, the flight controller is called the brain of the multicopter. It does hundreds of corrections per second and to keep the quadcopter level and don't drift away are affected by wind. If your quadcopter is affected by an external force such as wind or any other force, so the flight controller actually reacts with it and corrects the quadcopter and speeds up one side motors and speeds down at the other side. And that job is done by the flight controller. So for that it takes the use of different sensors that are present in the flight controller such as accelerometer, gyroscope and sometimes even magnetometer and GPS also. By using the accelerometer we calculate the amount of gravitational acceleration which in turn we calculate the angle of the quadcopter and by gyroscope or gyroscope we calculate the angular rate of motion and by using the magnetometer we find the orientation of the drone and by GPS we find the position so combining these sensors we make a drone and so similar is the process that which I have done I have used an accelerometer and gyroscope and they both are combined existing in one sensor okay so how far am I successful in making this my own flight controller so if you go through my previous videos you will find that I have successfully flown the quadcopter and what the new thing I have found is a new problem and that problem is about the accelerometer as I said earlier we find the angle with the help of the accelerometer so if the accelerometer gives inaccurate or incorrect reading and values then the quadcopter will be out of level actually what an accelerometer does is it reacts to the gravitational acceleration and gives you a value proportional to the gravitational acceleration but when the quadcopter starts moving and it gets in motion the linear acceleration also comes in two parts and uh, then the values are messed up and you get an accurate angle and this is the new problem that I have found. So what I need to have to do is to compensate the values of the accelerometer such that it only gives out the values that are from only the gravitational acceleration and not from the linear motion of the quadcopter because when the linear motion is produced the values are messed up. So that is the new problem and I have to compensate that. And these accelerometer and gyroscopes are even present in our phones which makes the video stabilization and other types of working in your phone to find the orientation of your phone and let's stop okay guys so here you can see the visual representation of the working of the drone i also make visual effects you can go through my channel and watch them and also you can watch them here in the vlogs so how does a drone work you can find out now when you move this stick up the quad carpenter moves up when you take it down again it stops now when you move this stick right the quad carpenter moves to right 
and when you take it to the left, the quadruple moves left. By moving it forward, the quadcopter moves forward. So this is how the working of a normal drone is. And yes, go through my channel and watch more of these visual effects. This is not a real drone. Well, and it's not true that I have not flown any drone so far. Well, in fact, I have flown many of the drones and you can see the footage right now. And this footage is not from any DJI Phantom or any other factory made drone. It's from my drone that I have made and it's actually a DIY drone and the flight controller that in it is a KK2 flight controller and it's a factory made flight controller so this is not the flight controller that I'm talking about uh, and the one that I'm making this is actually a factory made flight controller and I have assembled different products and I have repaired this drone so if you are new to the drones, so I encourage you to use a pre-built flight controller, a factory made flight controller and the flight controller named KK2 is the one that is most popular for beginners. And it also takes time to learn how to fly a drone. So starting from that is good. And then further you can explore many things in it and you can install a GPS and magnetometer and different types of flight controllers and you will experience different flight modes. It will be more interesting. Yeah. Okay guys, so that was it and that was the vlog and I will keep you updated with the improvements and the progress in my Arduino based drone. So subscribe to this channel and you will always get new videos and entertaining videos. And if you like the visual effects, then watch them and my other videos and subscribe and thanks for watching.